What's up people of the Hair There and Everywhere channel? So today's video, I know I said I was going away last week, but I'm not. I'm going to stay in Manchester. I've missed it a little bit too much and I've got a couple of things to do. Mainly, get my fucking hair cut, man. This is getting way too long, so I need to go and get this sorted. I'm going to look like Johnny Bravo if I leave it any longer. So get my hair cut is first for today. And then after that, I'm going to take Snoop for a walk with his friend Kaiser. And later on tonight, I've got Airsoft, which I'm gassed for. So... I'm gonna head to the barbers. I'll pick you up when I get there. Something I do miss while I'm on my travels is having that one solid barber. Nothing feels better than getting a fresh trim. So if you do need a solid fade, get to KW Barbering in Manchester. By far the best. There you go, Keith. Nice one. Thank you. <laughs> it's a bit, man. <laughs> I'm looking and feeling a little bit more human. So now I've got to take this little fucker on a walk. So time to go and meet Kaiser, yeah? Yeah. Give me that. You little bastard, eating my bottles. <laughs> he loves a bottle him. Any, any toy I buy him doesn't compare to a bottle. Give him a bottle, he's satisfied for hours. Unfortunately for Snoop, Kaiser's not very well today, so he's not coming on the walk, unfortunately. But it does make it a little bit easier for me to test out my new drone. So I've got a DJI Mini 3, which I've been dying to try out, and I'm going to try and get some awesome shots now of me and Snoop on our walk. So I'll catch you with our regular dog walking montage. That's a very cold winter's walk complete. Time to now go home, get dressed and ready because I need to put my blacked out clothes on, ready for a game of airsoft later that I'm going to. This is my first time playing airsoft, so hopefully I'm going to be half decent at it and get some good clips for you guys. So I'll catch you when I'm on my way to airsoft. Victoria Mill, we're here. Airsoft time. But we've got to get up about 90 pairs of fucking stairs first. Is it right at the top, I'm guessing? Pretty much. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna grab my kit and everything, and I'll pick you back up when we're ready to go. Got the GoPro chest on, all ready. I'm out of breath from walking up them fucking stairs. Your first time down? It is, yeah. yeah. Time to go and get a mask. Uh, Fuck me, I don't fit me out. I feel like that one's not gonna fog up as much. Yeah, that'll do, fuck it. I'll take that one. Everyone here is dead serious, setting all the guns and shit up, and I'm just sat here scanning me tuna baguette. This is how it's done. There's only one war that matters, and it is here. That's first round done. I'm sweating like fuck, but honestly, it's class. It don't even hurt, to be honest with you. I got shot in quite a few questionable places, like the back of the head, fingers and shit. It don't even fucking hurt. On to the second round. This round was capture the flag, and the objective was to rush this plane where the enemy were protecting the flag. So me and my friend John rush this plane. My friend John tries to go in, and I go for the watchtower. 
we get a couple of shots off and a couple of kills but unfortunately this team was full of cheating bastards therefore they wasn't taking the deaths and there was absolutely no way we was going to be able to capture this flag with them all sitting there and not returning to spawn when they died this is what you call karma <laughs> Well, level two airsoft at Victoria Mill. It was class. I had a great time, honestly. I'm uh, gonna be coming back regularly, especially now that I've got a friend that comes here and does it. So even better. I'm uh, hopefully gonna go online tonight and find myself some guns and that, get myself some uh, equipment. So next time I go in, I don't feel like a noob like I did uh, today. But yeah, I'll catch you tomorrow for the rest of the vlog. See you later. Morning guys, so I'm actually quite tired from airsoft last night to be honest with you You forget that running around for two hours holding a fairly heavy gun could actually take this much of a toll on you It's, it's definitely more tired than I am when I do cardio at the gym. I tell you that but it's made me miss my Xbox so much I really really want to play COD because technically I was playing COD in real life last night So I've messaged someone on Facebook Marketplace and I'm going to go and pick up an Xbox now. It's the smallest Xbox they make, which is perfect for the van because we need to keep it small and compact so we're not taking up too much room. So the main reason I've not installed an Xbox so far is just because I didn't want to drain my batteries and kill my batteries. But if it's just a one-off at the weekend, I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm going to go and pick this Xbox up now. You all right, man? Yeah, mate. Here for the Xbox, yeah? Good, mate. Yeah, man. Weekend. There you go. Nice one, man. Always, Sweet. Mate. Take care. Xbox is secured. However, I bought one without controllers. So I've just picked my friend Max up. He's brought me He's brought me some hey, controllers. Dad. Have you got controllers with you? Yeah, I got two, mate. Don't worry. Yeah, man. Smashed it. Hey, Thank fuck. Me and Max are going to go to go outdoors first because we both need some walking boots. Right, we've found the spot that we're staying at tonight. And before we set up the Xbox, I want to show you guys what we got from Go Outdoors. So I got myself some big, nice, fluffy walking boots. They were literally 40 quid. You can't moan at that. And look at the inside. Big, padded and fluffy. So they'll keep me nice and warm, hopefully. And then the best part, I got this coat. Nice little burghouse jacket. 99 quid from Go Outdoors, man. It was meant to be like 300 and something. It's a proper nice thick padded jacket. Nice fleece lined and that. Got some decent pockets in it. Not bad purchase, is it? And then I got Max some walking boots as well while we were in there. So these are Max's size fucking 11. Look at the size of them, man. The size <laughs> of them. They are huge. But right, we're going to put the stuff on and go for a walk. I'll show you a little walk montage. You've already had one, but you're getting another. Me and Max are halfway through our hike and we've decided to stop off to warm up a little bit. So we've got a nice little fire in front of us. We brought the chair with us. I always bring it. It's easy. You just sling it on your back and carry it. So nice and easy. And Snoopy's behind us. Not that you're going to be able to see him because it's pitch black. It's only like five o'clock in the UK as well, but it goes really dark with it being winter time. So he's chilling, having a uh, chewing a stick. And we're going to sit here for a bit, warm up, then do the rest of our hike back down to the van where you'll catch us cooking some burgers. So I'll catch you in the van, guys. Let's get the food in the pan. By the moonlight. Bit of salt, because salt makes everything taste nicer. Bit of black pepper. And a little bit of my special burger seasoning. I hate when they don't come already cooked. This is how you have to toast your buns in a camper van. You've got to just stick them on there and wait for them to wait for them to turn out like that. 
And this is how you butter your bread in a camper van. And that is toasted and buttered balms in a camper van. Time to get the meat on. That is what you call camper van style burgers. Look at that. Doesn't look too shabby. Honestly, I outdo myself every time. Pretty good burgers then, what do you think, Max? Sick, okay. mate. Right, gonna finish these off and then it's time to set the Xbox up. We've got the Xbox set up in the van. We've got Call of Duty on in the background. Black Ops, obviously, the best one, the best COD ever. Leave down below in the comments which one was your favourite COD. For me, it's got to be Black Ops. Max, do you agree? Yeah, for this, Black Ops too. 100%. This is the setup. Xbox plugged into there. HDMI through to the Nebula projector. These things are awesome, by the way. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to get yourself one. And then we've got Xbox on air. Let me turn these off because you don't need to see me anymore. Oh, look at that. Yeah, boy. Yeah, man, ready when you are, lad. Oi, I died. Fuck, that was sick. Come on, man. <laughs> Trick shot in me, fair enough. Yes, lad, that's sick. Max has just absolutely slapped me up on cod. <laughs> so uh, I've told him to pack it away. We're putting a film on instead. I'm fucking sick of being bullied on fucking God by him. I don't play Xbox and he plays it every single day religiously. So no wonder, no wonder I got beat. It's the next day and we're still in River. We're on a mooch. We took the dog for a walk this morning and me and Max have found this waterfall that we want to try and scramble up. But unfortunately, we can't bring Snoop for that. We don't want him hurting himself. So we've left him at the, in the van and we're about to scramble this. I'll show you now. Icy, slippy waterfall. Who thought this was going to be a good idea? We've made it a good way up the waterfall and we've drank all the water and I'm pretty thirsty. But luckily, Bear grill style. Don't look too bad to me. Fresh water, why not? It's probably got a bit of sheep piss in it, but ah well, you're having a go. It actually tastes fresh, doesn't it? It tastes clean. I wanted to show you guys how much water is in my boots. God damn. 
still going. <laughs> What? How's it so much? We've just come all the way to the top of that and back down without a single casualty, which is great. However, we're piss wet through, so I'm calling the video here, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe with post notification bell on so that you don't miss a single one of my videos. I'll catch you next week, guys. Oh, you're bringing daddy a water ball. Thank you. Thank you. Ow. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't put the lid on properly. <laughs>